Hey everyone, my name is Jordan. I'm the head coach here at SaberSim. And in this video, I'm gonna walk through some recent improvements we've made to our app. We streamlined and better integrated our one of a kind entry editor to make it easier to get your lineups into your contests. We've made the quick swap tool easier to use and added features to it to simplify the process of getting players that have been ruled out out of your lineups. And we added a new feature to be able to use your custom exposures and projections from one lineup build in any other build. Let's go ahead and jump right in. One of the big changes here is you can now fill your entries file with lineups directly from the build screen. On the new build screen, you'll see a button in the upper right that says fill entries. If you click that, you'll be prompted to upload your entries file. You can download your entries file from DraftKings or FanDuel the same way you're used to. Upload your entries file directly to the build and fill your entries directly from this build the same way you used to on the entry editor. We can go ahead and select specific contests to include, sort by different lineup types, and change our fill method. And once we're ready, just go ahead and click fill all entries. Once your lineups are filled, if you're satisfied and ready to upload your entries file, you can click the download all entries button and download and open DraftKings and go directly to DK where you'll upload your entries file. If you need it, the download lineups button is still here and will download your raw lineups file to your computer. The Entries tab has gotten a little bit of a facelift too. Now that you can edit your entries directly from a build, you probably won't need to go to this tab as often as you're used to, but if you do need to come over here to make some final adjustments or review, you should have all of the same functionality to edit your entries file that you are used to. On the left-hand side, you'll see two new columns for lineup exposure and entry exposure. This is a way to break up your player exposures by looking at unique lineups versus unique entries. In the lineup exposure column, that will be the percentage of unique lineups that have a certain player in it. And in the entry column, you'll see the percentage of unique entries that have a certain player in it. If you have some of the same lineup entered into multiple different entries, you'll see there is a bit of a difference here between our exposure on the lineup exposure and the entry exposure to different players, and it can be a useful way to visualize your exposure to different players in different ways. We've also made some changes to quick swap. Now, when you have an entries file uploaded into SaberSim, if we detect that a player in your lineups has gotten ruled out, is not included in your player pool, or has a zero projection, we'll give you an indicator and make it easier to get that player out of your lineups. Let's assume, for example, that Dalton Varsho ends up not in the Diamondbacks lineup for tonight. We'll uncheck him from the pool, and you can see here in the main navigation, this red lightning bolt indicator. That means we have a player that is out in our lineups. If we click this here, it'll bring up the quick swap tool and summarize which players in our lineup are out, in this case, Dalton Varsho. We've added a new ability to replace out players with the best available player from the same team. This is a really good tool in high correlation sports to do the best we can with the quick swap to maintain your stacks and correlation. I'll go ahead and do this and click apply and we'll get a summary here that Dalton Varsha was removed from four lineups and in four of them swapped with Alec Thomas who was the best available Arizona player to swap in. We've also got to note that Dalton Varsho could not be swapped from 40 other lineups because there was no other player on the Diamondbacks that could be swapped in. We've simplified this process as well, and now you can do multiple quick swaps all in one go here. I'll go ahead and just say, now quick swap with the best available, and we'll see that Dalton Varsho gets removed from the remaining 40, and now I can very easily just download and open DraftKings and upload my new updated entries file. For those that want to do a full late swap build, we've streamlined that process as well. Late swaps can now be initiated from the same new lineups, new build button as all other builds. When we click this button, there'll be a toggle in the main header called late swap. When we turn this toggle on, this build is now a late swap build where we can change our settings and late swap accordingly, just like we're used to, and also change the particular contests or entries that we are late swapping for. If a slate is in progress and you click the new build button and have an entries file uploaded, we'll automatically assume that what you want to do is a late swap. If not, you can go ahead and toggle this back off to go back to a normal build. Finally, we've got a new feature that has been commonly requested for a long time, and that is the ability to send your exposure changes and projection changes that you have made in a build back to the home screen to use in other builds. Let's say in this build, for example, that I want to adjust Zach Gallen down to 
and perhaps I want to get 50% exposure to Jesse Winker. And I want to adjust Julio Rodriguez's projection down to 7 points. Now, let's say, for example, I want to use these same exposures and projection updates in a future build. In the past, these adjustments have been completely local to this build, and you can't use them elsewhere. Now, we have this new button called the Send button, where you can send your projections or your exposures or both back to the home screen to use in future builds. Keep in mind, if you send your projections or exposures or both back to the home screen, it will overwrite any other custom projections and exposures you have at home. So make sure you want to do this here first. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and click send both. You'll get a notification that you'll overwrite any existing custom projections and exposures. I'll send that. And then if we go back here, we will now see on this tab that our max exposure to Zach Allen is set to 60%. Our min exposure to Jesse Winker is set to 50%, and our custom projection for Julio Rodriguez is correctly set to 7. The min and max exposures and projections here will be used for all builds, and that includes late swaps. You no longer have to go directly to the entries tab to manage a separate set of exposures that you want to do when you're late swapping. All of your custom min and max exposures from the home screen, from the projection screen, will be used when you do any build, and that includes late swap. I hope this was a helpful introduction to some of these new exciting features to the SaberSim app. We'll be rolling out a lot more documentation and tutorial videos of some of these new updates in the coming weeks. But in the meantime, if you have any other questions for us, feel free to reach out at support at sabersim.com. Thanks, and good luck.